Hello everybody, it's Rob here, Rob Bidolf. There I am with Ringo the dog. It's lovely to be back with you again today for another episode of Draw with Rob. So I am an author and illustrator of children's books. You might have seen some of my books before. This one here is called Grrr, May the Best Bear Win. There's a little clue as to what it's about. It's all about this chap, Fred Bear, who is a prize medal winning bear in the best bear in the wood competition. Look, he's got a little rival though. Can you see that there, there, Boris the bear? And it's all about Fred here who loses his growl. Maybe you've seen this book. It's called Give Peas a Chance. It's part of my Dinosaur Juniors series. And it's all about Nancy here who doesn't like eating her vegetables. And it's about a clever way that she tries to persuade all of her friends to eat the peas for her. But in the end, it turns out that they all really like eating peas anyway because peas are really good for you, right? Vegetables are good for you. Anyway, today we are here, of course we are, to do another drawing. Draw with Rob, that's what we do. Draw with Rob, isn't it? There we go, how's that? Is that straight? That's pretty straight. Okay, and today I'm very excited because I am gonna draw for you a brand new character. In fact, the character that I'm gonna draw for you is from a book that at the time of recording, it's not even been published yet. Is coming out in, when is it coming out? September 2020. I haven't even seen a copy of the cover yet, but I have got a picture of it on my iPad screen. There it is. <gasps> my brand new book is called Dog Gone. The Day I Lost My Human. <sighs> so it's coming out in September, the beginning of September at some point, I think, and it stars this little pug dog here, whose name is Teddy which is short for Edward Pugglesworth, Teddy the dog. And it's how he loses his human one day on a walk. It's a really fun story. I really, really hope you like it. Anyway, I thought today it might be nice if I showed you how to draw our friend Teddy. Would you like to see, do you want me to show you something actually? This is a little insight into the world of children's publishing. I'm gonna show you the first couple of pages from the book. So, because what happens is once I've drawn all the pictures, we print them out on special printer paper just to check that everything's all right. We check all the spellings of the words and make sure there's no mistakes. And we look at all the colors in the pictures and we make sure that I haven't drawn anything slightly wrong. And lots of people check it to make sure it's fine before it gets turned into thousands and thousands of books, you see. So I'm gonna show you one of these proof sheets of the first couple of pages. Can you see it's got all these little sort of colored squares at the bottom? And this is the sort of thing you get. I think, I'm not sure where this one prints. Quite often they print over in China. I'm not sure where this one printed. But look, and it's got all these funny little sorts of writing and things at the bottom. But can you see, that's the pages of the book. This is the very first pages. I'm gonna read it to you, look. I'm Edward Pugglesworth. How do you do? And this is the house where I live with my crew. There we go, the very first drawing. So we are gonna draw Teddy. Oh, that was a nice little peek behind the curtain, wasn't it? Right, so what you're gonna need, a piece of paper, as per usual. Oh, did I just hit my microphone? Sorry if I hit my microphone. A piece of paper, as per usual. We're gonna need a pen, something to draw with. Which pen shall I use today? I'm gonna, I might use this one, actually. I'm gonna use my Kurataki. Uh, what's, this one's, what's this one called? I can't remember what this one's called. If I remember, I'll put it up on the screen down here somewhere. I'll write what this one's called. But I think I'm gonna use this pen this time. And this is how it works. Lots of people say that they don't think they're very good at drawing, but I think that anyone can draw. It's just a question of knowing the order to do the drawing in. So I'm gonna do a little tiny bit of the drawing on my piece of paper, and you're gonna copy exactly what I draw. Then you can start the video again, and I will draw the next bit. Then you will copy that, then I will draw, then you will draw, then I will draw, and we're gonna end up with something that we're very proud of. Okay, Teddy, Edward Pugglesworth. How shall we start this? Right, we're gonna start with a very, very, very simple shape right in the middle of our page. What I want you to draw is a rectangle, a long, thin rectangle, about that sort of size. I'm gonna go up a little bit, and then we're gonna go along. So a thin rectangle like that. What a nice, easy start to a drawing. Okay, now inside that rectangle, I want you to draw lots of small circles all the way along. 
going to tell you what this bit is. This is Teddy's collar. So these are little studs on his collar. There we go. It doesn't matter how many you do. It doesn't matter how big or how small they are. It's up to you. But that's how we start drawing Teddy. I don't know why I start with the collar. I think I just always like to get something down fairly centrally, I think, in the drawing. Usually, sometimes I don't, but I think in this case I do. Now, the next thing to do is just inside, not at the very end, just inside the end, I want you to draw a dead straight vertical line coming up about that far. Okay, and then we're going to do one exactly the same length on the other side, still slightly in for the end, exactly the same length on the other side, like that. Okay, then we are going to join them up in a big curve. Now, I'm going to put a little dot in the middle so I know where the middle is. I'm just sort of using the collar as a guide for the middle. And then I'm going to curve around from here, try and hit my spot. Oh, I'm a bit high, doesn't matter and curve around there and then that just helps me get my curve pretty even. That's not bad. That's not bad. So there we go. And this is going to be Teddy's head you see here. Now then I'm going to draw the ears next actually. I'm going to go straight in for the ears because the ears are quite cool on a pug. What we're going to do is two little sort of upside down triangles on each side of his head. I'll show you what I mean. So they're going to be about this size. First of all, we're going to draw a diagonal line that just sort of brushes the edge of that curve like that. Okay. And then from the top part of that diagonal line, we're going to draw another line. It's going to go very slightly sort of downhill, I think. Very slightly downhill, about that sort of length. So we're going to go a little bit past where we started the first line of our triangle. And then we're going to join it up, but we're not going to do it, actually, we're not going to do it in a dead straight line, we're just going to do it in a bit of a curve, like that. Slight curve. And then, this is the bit that makes it look a bit more like a pug's ear. From this corner, I just want you to draw a straight line down, like that. As if it's tucking, as if it's sort of coming out from behind his head. And then we need to do pretty much the same on this side. So we're going to start with our diagonal line that just brushes the side of the head. It doesn't have to be at the same angle. Quite often pug's ears, or any dog's ears, they're sort of one's up a bit, one's down a bit. They sort of flap around a bit, don't they? I think it's fine to do that. So we're going to go down. Let's go along the top again. We'll make it a little bit longer, like that. And then we're going to join these two up again in a little bit of a curve. And then finally, exactly the same as we did before, just a little line joining, joining it up to his head, like that. So there we go, there's our pug's ears. Now the next thing to do is, I want you to draw right at the sort of the side of his head, I want an about mm, a third of the way down, so not halfway down, not a quarter of the way down, about a third of the way down, I want you to draw a smallish circle, like that. Okay. I want you to draw another one, exactly the same, distance away from his, the other side of his head. So just like that. And in between, in the middle, sorry, in the middle of those two circles, I want you to draw another circle, quite big. I'm going to colour it in. He's got quite big pupils. These are his eyes, obviously. And he's got quite big pupils, has Teddy. There you go. Two little puggy eyes. Okay, the next thing to do is a little bit right dead center in the middle of his head and a little way above where those eyes were, I want you to draw a straight line. So about there. So starting in the middle and just coming along a little bit like that. Then I want you to curve down, sort of going fairly close to that eye, curve down. And then we're going to curve around, we're going to go along the bottom, we're going to go past where we started, and we're going to go actually really quite close up to that eye, and we're going to curve around again until we get roughly level with the pupil, like that, okay? So it's sort of like, almost like a G shape. We've come down, around, all the way along, and then we're stopping there, okay? And it's quite important that we don't join it up, because... From this point, we are going to go straight along there, past where we started, 
to about there, yeah, roughly there, and then we are going to just curve up in a little smile. I'm going to stop before we join it up, okay? So this is going to be Teddy's snout, his sort of muzzle, and that's his smiling mouth. Then what we can do is we can put our pen about a little way along from the end of this corner here, about there, and then we can do our curvy line that joins back up with where we started. See, because he sort of sticks his bottom jaw out a bit, does Teddy. That's how, his, that's how we draw his snout and his mouth. Okay, let's give him a nose. The nose is right in the sort of the middle of this area of his snout. We're just gonna draw quite a big semicircle like that, okay? And in the middle, coming down from the middle of that semicircle, we're going to do a little line that just joins up to his mouth. Okay? This is pretty easy, this one, actually. I'm enjoying drawing this teddy drawing. I'm going to switch just to a slightly thinner pen for these little detail bits. Because what we need to do now is we need to add four little dots for sort of whisker marks. One, two, three, four. Is that the same here? One, two, three, four. Do them quite close to the nose if you can. And then, you know how I like to do little swirls for my nostrils? We're going to do the same with Teddy here. We're going to do one coming up just to the left of that centre line. Little swirly bit, and then another little swirly bit. That's how I've always done noses. I don't really know why. But I don't see any reason to change at this stage. And then the last detail we need to add to his muzzle area is he's just got one tooth sticking up. Do you know what? As I said that, I've just realised my character Kevin who is an imaginary friend there is a Kevin there's a draw with Rob Kevin uh, video too I think it was number might be number four I think so you can go and have a look at it but he has just got one tooth that sticks up from his mouth as well his is on this side it must be a th I didn't even realize that it must be a thing I do one tooth sticking up on my characters well this is how we do Kevin's now uh, not Kevin see I'm getting them mixed up now this is how we do Teddy's Teddy's is a sharp tooth it's a little sort of triangle one two there we go that's his little tooth kevin's is actually sort of almost square his tooth but teddy's is a triangle so there we go now then pugs have these sort of dark patches that surround their eyes so what i want you to do around each of the eyes i want you to draw another circle All right you can see my line is slightly thinner for this circle and I'm going to, this one sort of a, sort of goes slightly behind where his mouth is, like that. And that's going to be in a in a little while when we colour him in. We're going to colour those areas in a bit darker. Okay. And now we need to make him look nice and jolly. So let's add a couple of eyebrows in, shall we? And his eyebrows—they're not just lines. They're going to be again. We're going to colour them in. So we need to do two sort of baked bean shapes, like this one. And then one over here, right near the top of his head. We want them to be quite high up because he's feeling happy. There we go, two little eyebrow shapes. Now a couple of little details to add near the top of Teddy's head now. We're going to add a little tuft of hair. So we're just going to add one, two, a little loop, three, four, like that. A little sort of tuft of hair on top of his head. And then pugs, they're little kind of quite wrinkly little creatures aren't they pugs so we're just going to add three little lines very thin one two three that gradually get a bit bigger further down we go and they're going to be his little sort of forehead wrinkles and there we go we've done the top half of teddy already this is quite a quick one this one isn't it okay now let's draw teddy's body we're going to start on this side i think so we're going to imagine that this side this line here that is describing the side of Teddy's head. We're going to imagine that goes straight down through the collar, carries on down for a bit, and then start about, when we get to about here, we're going to just start curling around. And we're going to stop when we've done the corner area, okay? So that's just going to be his tummy. Now we need to draw his leg. And the reason I stopped and didn't just keep on going is because we want this leg here to be in front of that tummy area. So what we're going to do is we're just going to draw a little line. They've got very little legs, pugs. So we're just going to draw a little line like that that sort of blocks off the end 
of that line. Then we are going to draw another one. They've got very thin legs. We're going to draw another one next to it, like that. It goes a bit further down. Then it's going to come straight across. And then we're just going to join it up, like that. And that's going to be his front right leg. His front left leg is going to be exactly the same shape, but it's going to be just a little way over. And it's going to be a little bit higher, because that will make it look like it's slightly in the distance. We're just going to do it, try and get it exact as close as you can to the other leg we draw. Okay? And can you see, because it's behind that line, it just sort of looks like one's here and one's over there somewhere. The next thing to do is we need to carry his tummy along, don't we? So this line here that we drew, we want to just continue it along pretty much flat. We're going to slightly, gonna slightly curve upwards as we get to there. So as you get sort of level with that side of his collar, we're just going to slightly, very slightly curve upwards. Just get that nice and neat, thicken it up a bit there. Okay, then when we get to there, so about level with his, maybe slightly past his collar, we're just going to draw, we need to draw another foot, pretty much the same shape as this, but this time we're just going to come down, we're going to make a nice sharp corner there, we're going to come down to about the same level, then we're going to draw our little foot coming out, go down, along, back along, past where we were, but this time we are going to go in a dead straight line, all the way up there to about there we'll stop about there because then we need to curve around this is going to be his bottom we're going to curve around and we're going to join up with that end of the collar they've got very short little bodies here it's almost their body is almost the same width as his head you see that's how i draw this particular dog before we finish off the bottom area with a tail we're going to add another one of those rear legs so we're going to do it exactly the same way pretty much try and get it sort of level with that back leg there. And go along, round and up. And there we go. We've got a nice little four-legged doggy. Let's add the tail. Now, pug's tails are such fun to draw because basically they're little swirls, like a little sort of cinnamon bun or something like that. This is how we do it. First of all, we just draw the outline, the outside line, which is just a circle, just like that. A small circle on his bottom like that. Okay, I'm going to take my thinner pen to do the inside bit because this is my favourite bit of the whole drawing. And then what we do from the inside, from about there, we're just going to come up round and we're just going to do a little swirl like that. And that is going to be our pug's tail. Isn't that cool? And we've nearly finished the outline of our drawing now. We just need to add Teddy's collar. Now then, uh, not his collar, we've already done his collar, his dog tag, that's what we need to add. So what we're going to do, we're going to draw, just coming down from one of your little studs, I just want you to draw a little tiny black rectangle, like that, and then I want you to draw, around that I want you to draw a diamond shape, because that's what colour, that's what colour, that's what shape our dog tag is. And we're going to do a little thinner diamond shape just inside that. Just like that. It's going to be our little dog tag. And then, you haven't got much space here, but if you're very careful and very neat, you can write your dog's name. Now my dog, as I've told you, is called Teddy, but you can call your dog whatever you want. And you can write the name in tiny little letters on his collar. And there we go. That is our outline of our pug. So I think it's about time we coloured our pug in. Now, this is where we can have a bit of fun because this is a drawing, it's a cartoon pug dog, isn't it? So because it's a cartoon, it doesn't have to be true to life. You don't have to do the actual colour of a pug dog. You can do any colours you like. Your pug could be bright orange, bright pink. It could be dark brown. It could be green. It could be sky blue. It could be colour covered in hearts. It could be a rainbow pug. I want you to go crazy. Do whatever you like. If you want to do it regular pug colours, which is what I'm going to do, feel free. But 
whatever you want to do you just do it so i'm going to go into super speed mode and i'm going to color my pug in and i'm going to see you back here on the other side of the coloring here we go three two one let's go So there we go, we're nearly done with coloring in our little pug dog. I'm gonna add a bit of shadow, my favorite thing, around the feet. I'm just gonna add a little bit of light blue scribble just around the areas where the feet touches the floor. There was a couple of bits that I forgot to do. Claws, he has three little tiny lines like that on each of his paws, just for little doggy claws. Three. There we go. His tail. I'm just going to go over that because I went over that. Can you see I've used lots of different colours in mine? I didn't have a pencil that was the perfect pug colour, so I've added a bit of brown, a little bit of blue in the shadows, a bit of pink over here where the light hits. Um, just made a bit of mistake there, so let's just pour over that to make it a bit neater. There we go. And that's pretty much. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to add. I'm just going to go over these areas here that I coloured just to make it, oh, knocked my pencils, just to make it a little bit more defined. Add my swirls back in, one, two, there we go. And I think we're done. The very last thing that we need to do, of course, sign our picture down here or wherever you want to sign your picture. And there we go. Edward Pugglesworth from my brand new book called Dog Gone. Whew, that's the very first time that I have actually done a Teddy Pugglesworth draw along. It's the first time I've drawn him since I actually drew him in the book actually, so I haven't drawn him for a while. That was really fun. I really enjoyed that. I really hope you like this character. I really hope you like the story actually. It's one of, I think it might be, it's one of my better ones actually quite like most of my stories but this one I think is a really really good one there's a lot of detail to spot in the drawings so this book is out in September 2020 I think you can pre-order it now if you want online go to Amazon or Waterstones wherever you get your books from you'll be able to pre-order it but I really really hope you like it I've certainly liked drawing along with you today I can't wait to see all of your drawings don't forget to tell somebody tell an adult maybe to take a picture of your picture and then you can share it with me on social media using the hashtag draw with rob you can post it on any of the social medias on twitter or instagram and i should be able to see it. or on facebook of course you can comment underneath if you're watching it on facebook do put a little comment with a picture of your drawing underneath it and i'll try and get to i'll try and see it and like it and who knows your drawing might make the grid that would be really really cool wouldn't it so Thanks so much for drawing along with me today. I'm gonna to see you very soon for another Draw With Rob video. In the meantime, take care of yourselves, everyone. Bye-bye.